June is National Home Ownership Month, and we're spending this month sharing the pros and cons of owning a home, home maintenance tips, and a whole lot more. So if you're a new homeowner or considering purchasing a home, home maintenance probably seems like a pretty daunting task. But today I wanna to share a crash course for home maintenance. So new and potential homeowners definitely take note. And all you seasoned homeowners, don't tune out on this one. This video will hopefully provide helpful tips and reminders divided by season to incorporate into your current home maintenance schedule. All right, so let's get into it. It is summer right now in Greenville, South Carolina, so let's start off with our summer home maintenance checklist. Luckily, summer is the season to enjoy your home, not fix it. But still, there are some chores that we gotta get done. So keep on top of them and you'll still have plenty of time to sit back and relax this summer. All right, so first of all, let's tackle your yard. You should be mowing your lawn every week during the summer. And you wanna set your mower on the highest setting so that you don't cut the grass too short and you expose it to drought and weeds. The best time to water your lawn and flower beds is early in the morning on those hot summer days so that water doesn't just evaporate. If you have a sprinkler system, you wanna make sure that it's properly working and on a regular schedule to avoid scorching your plants. So moving inside your home now, summer is a great time to plan for the heat. Reverse your ceiling fans in a counterclockwise rotation. This pushes the air down and will create a nice breeze for you. If you live in an area where you work your AC like we do here in Greenville, South Carolina, be mindful of those filters. You wanna clean your filters a little more often in the summer, up to once a month depending on how quickly they get dirty. You wanna be proactive and help your house stay cool Hang drapes on windows that receive sun, especially in the afternoon. Finally, make note of any indoor projects that you might wanna take on in the cooler months this year and begin gathering notes and quotes on how to get those done. It doesn't hurt to schedule those contractors ahead of time. Some of the best ones get really booked up. Okay, so you've enjoyed relaxing this summer. The cooler months are ahead. What's in store for your home this fall? Outdoors, there isn't too much to take care of. If you have a garden, fall is a great time to plant perennials and then reseed your lawn as needed in the early fall. Assuming you water well throughout the season, you'll see fresh blooms early next spring. If you live in an area that has mature trees, falling leaves will probably pose a problem for you. Leaves can be raked into garden beds, providing a natural mulch layer that'll keep your plants safe all winter. If you don't care to rake, you can actually mow your leaves. I've seen some studies that show mowing your leaves once a week breaks them down, providing valuable nutrients for your lawn. Leaves don't just clutter your yard, but they also can clog your gutters. It's important to have your gutters inspected, cleaned, and repaired before winter sets in, as ice and heavy rainfall will only make those issues much worse. All right, so turning inside, you wanna prepare your home for winter. There isn't a whole lot for us Southern homeowners to have to do here, but there are a few things to take note of. You wanna make sure that your home's heating system functions properly, you wanna clean your chimney, and you wanna check the batteries in your smoke detector and carbon monoxide detectors. If you have any indoor projects, now would be a good time to get those ramped up. As winter sets in, hopefully your home will be well prepared. Again, here in Greenville, we avoid most of the major winter cold weather and a, that a lot of the rest of the country sees. But our ice storms can get pretty intense with ice weighing down much heavier than snow. Be aware of any limbs that are hanging near your home and you wanna remove those as needed. You wanna keep salt on hand in case the sidewalks and driveways start to ice over and make sure to wipe your pet's feet when they come inside. That salt is not good to stay on their feet. Indoors, you wanna make sure that your heating system continues to work and your home is very well insulated. In preparation for freezing temperatures, shut off and wrap your outdoor faucets. Indoor faucets near the, the outside of your home should be kept on a slow drip overnight, and those cabinet doors hiding the, the uh, pipe should be kept open. Taking these measures will keep your water from freezing in your pipes and ultimately causing them to burst. All right, finally, spring. Shake off the cold weather with a thorough cleaning of your house, both inside and out. Outside, you wanna trim up and clean up any old branches out there. Turn your faucets back on, get the mower back out. Springtime is often the time when your, your lawn will start growing the quickest. 
So check to make sure that your pipes and gutters are working properly. You want to prepare any outdoor spaces like your patio or pool for summer use. And the last of all, spring is a great time to do a thorough assessment of your home's interior. So depending on your home, this can include inspecting your HVAC, sump pump, plumbing, smoke detectors, all those things. Spring is really a great time to clean both inside and out, so take advantage of that time. So in conclusion, home maintenance seems like an overwhelming task, especially if you're a first time or a new homeowner. Hopefully this seasonal breakdown of basic home maintenance items helps seem the task a little more achievable for you. Regular inspection and maintenance of your home can help you avoid surprise damage down the line and costly repairs. Plus just that peace of mind knowing everything's in tip top shape. If you're in Greenville and looking for contractors, plumbers, landscapers, any of those people that you need for home maintenance, give me a call or fill out the form in the link below. As a realtor with over 20 years of experience, I've gotten to know a lot of local business owners that provide great services for the housing market. Be happy to provide you with a recommendation for any of that work to be done. If you have found this content to be helpful, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for weekly real estate advice, news about Greenville, and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching.